Welcome back, YouTube, to my humble abode and my current office space, which if you caught last week's video, you will see we have tidied slightly the photo tent that was behind me, now gone, and in its place, a more appealing palace artois illuminated sign, just to give the sort of vibe we're trying to put across. But today's video uh, is a bit of a weird one, really, mainly in the sense that I'm not going to promote that you buy BMX products from a different website rather than Foundation BMX. But what I am saying is there is something in it for us if you do. So, bit of a strange one, like I say, but stick with it. Let's crack on and I'll explain where I'm at. Basically, the reason I've kind of made this video is because I was speaking to a friend of mine in Liverpool on Saturday and there were some guys from London who were up with him and we were out checking out some of the finest Rudy's Pizza available, three venues in Liverpool now, so they're smashing it. Um, and we were just chatting away about BMX stuff, industry stuff, and one of the things that come up in conversation was the fact that there is a new website out there to buy your BMX goods from called Backyard. Now, some of you will know that Backyard has been around for many a year. Um, bit of history on that. Backyard was Stu Dawkins' original BMX shop in Hastings that he started way, way back. Um, and obviously that progressed into 70s distribution, which is one of our main suppliers at Foundation BMX. And Stu and Colin and the team at 70s do fantastic work, including most of you or some of you will certainly be aware that they brought back the Backyard Jam BMX series way back in 2019 now. And yeah, the, they relaunched the competition series, which is a great thing for BMX, um, even to the extent that following the Olympics, um, and they're obviously the great results that we got as a team GB means that they actually want input or it will, should I say they actually want involvement with the backyard series now for it to be essentially the national series for BMX freestyle. In essence, what I've just explained to you is that Stu and the guy at 70s, or all the guys, should I say, at 70s, uh, have got a huge history in BMX. And basically, what has happened recently is they have relaunched a website under the name Backyard, which basically sells the products that 70s distribution sell to us. So essentially, you can buy anything that 70s sell now through Backyard directly as a member of the public, which previously you couldn't do, um, with the exception of Federal and Tall Order, which are essentially 70s home brands. So you can buy those direct through the relevant manufacturer's website. Th the thing where this gets a little bit complicated is there seems to be a bit of a miscommunication in one sense that this is a really bad thing for independent BMX stores. And I can understand where that misconception has come from. I guess a lot of people will view it as another um, distributor going direct to market, meaning that they're cutting out independent BMX stores. And that's kind of what I wanted to tidy up about the backyard situation, because in actual fact, Stu reached out to me probably a year ago, um, explaining that he wanted to launch a sell direct website for 70s essentially under the backyard name um, but he wanted to do it with a little bit of a difference and that difference is is that should people so wish and i guess that's what the this video about today is encouraging you to do they you can buy stuff through backyard but support a core bmx store so basically on the backyard website as you go onto the home page there's more than one opportunity to click a box which says basically support a core store and what this will do is give you a list of dealers who they currently deal with in the UK network 
that means should you buy something through Backyard, they will actually pay a subsidy to that store for that sale, meaning that essentially whether you buy it through us or them, we still get something out of it, which to be fair is more than generous. It's not like everyone's doing that. So for me, the program was something that was going to happen either way. And the fact that 70s Stu and all the guys there have decided that they want to go about it that way is fine by me. At the end of the day, they only sell goods that they distribute. So it's not like you have a vast range of brands to choose from. Um, albeit 70s, one of the biggest distros in the country. They offer some great brands, including Federal, Tall Order, Kink, Fiend, Cult. You know, they've got a lot of brands which are good and so basically yeah i'm kind of saying to people out there just be aware that you know you can buy from backyard and support a core store and whether that be foundation bmx dead sailor allen's uh crucial you know wherever that may be that you use your local shop you still have a way of supporting them through backyard which means everybody's a winner and the service they offer as a website's no doubt fantastic because obviously it's ran by the guys at 70s so well worth having a look at or if you see an advertisement for it on instagram one popped up on my feed the other day um and then even today which is kind of more the reason that prompted the video is they are advertising things on google shopping and stuff like that so if you're wondering who they are or what it's about i guess that gives you a little bit of a better explanation as to who what and the where yeah so just a bit of a short one today i guess it's kind of an update for the whole backyard thing um on a quick sideline of that they have announced all the dates on instagram for the backyard series in 2023 brilliant series i managed to get to two of them last year both great events um the one at unit 23 in scotland brilliant like that skate park is in my eyes the best skate park in the country so if i can get to any of them i'd get to that one but you know th there's venues to suit people more geographically in the south um actually having said that i think cardiff's probably the most south uh, southerly one that's uh, on this year but it's on their instagram so check out the backyard jam instagram and all the dates are on there um i'll probably put a little picture of it in the video just now so you've got those to hand as well but yeah like that that just as a sideline get those dates in your diary if you want to compete just go to a bmx event and have a good time they are definitely ones for your diary so yeah thanks for watching little brief video today explaining the backyard situation i hope that clears it up from some people but if you've got any other questions by all means hit us a comment in the video and i'll aim to get back to you to try and explain it better one love, Mike out.